Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create a sunburst chart in Tableau. Sunburst chart is used to visualize hierarchical data in the form of circles where the innermost circle represents the top level of the hierarchy. In this tutorial we will create two sunburst charts using MakePoint built-in function. The first one as we can see here in the sheet is a three layer chart and we are going to create it using the IBM HR employment data set for total employees by job role in each department. The second one, as you can see here, is for the total sales by product name in each subcategory in each category using the simple Superstore dataset. The links to download the two datasets are available in the description. So let's get started. First, we are going to import the IBM HR employee attrition dataset and we are going to use mainly three columns. We have the department, then we have here the employee number and we have the job role. So we click on sheet one and first we are going to create calculated field. So you click on the down icon in here, create calculated field and we call it center. You write make point and we write zero, zero. So like that we create our center, apply. Okay, and as you can see here, it is directly assigned as a geographical data type. Next, to create our hierarchy, so we right click on department, hierarchy, create hierarchy, we call it department, and we are going to add the job role into our hierarchy. So, right click on job role, hierarchy, add to hierarchy, department. So, like that, we have our hierarchy with two levels we have the department and the job role within each department. Next, we are going to create a string, same thing, create calculated field. We'll call it total employees, copy, and we create our string. Apply, OK. Now we drag and drop center into detail. As you can see here, it creates a map for us. And same thing, we drag and drop center another time. And we select add marks layer so we add one layer and we are going to add another layer as we have said we are going to create three layer sunburst chart so the first one we call it layer one and it will be the white circle the second one we call it layer two and the third one we are going to call it layer 3 which represents the outer circle right so for the first one we convert it into pi and for the color we are going to select white and we are going to move the longitude and latitude from the columns and the rows we select the entire view and we go to the layer 2 same thing, we convert it to pi. We drag and drop department into color. We increase the size. We can decrease the size for the first one. Same thing here, we can decrease a little bit. And we drag and drop the employee number into the angle. We select measure, count, and like that we get for department sales 446 employees, for HR 63, and for research and development we have 961. Next, for the third layer, same thing we are going to convert it into pi. We drag and drop department hierarchy into color so we select plus we convert job role into color and we increase its size okay so like that we get our job role same thing for employee number we drag and drop into the angle and we can select measure count okay like that we have for human resources we have human resources and manager same thing here for 
research and development we have all the jobs are listed in here and now we are going to change the color for the cells so we go to cells we click on edit colors cells and we change it into green apply ok so like that we have our job roles and we have also our departments we can drag and drop the title that we have created so the calculated field total employees into label and same thing employee number into label and we select count we can change its format for example we can increase it into bold 16 and we drag and drop into the center so like that you get our first sunburst chart which represents the total employees by job role in each department you can also add the label if you want for example in here we can add the department into a label okay and we drag and drop like that for human resources we can put it in here for example and for research and development we can put it in here So you can adjust it as you want okay and same thing for this one okay, for example add the count of employee number into the label and like that you get the different values now we'll go to the second one so select create new worksheet you import your data so select data new data source and you import your sample superstore data set so we are going to use the orders table And we are going to use same thing we have the category right we have the subcategory the product name and we are going to visualize the cells so we have four different columns so before creating our second sample chart we are going to add the different borders for this one so you go to color border and you select white same thing for layer 2 go to color border and you select white okay now for the second Sunburst chart we are going same thing to use orders table and we are going to create our hierarchy so right click on category hierarchy create hierarchy we call it category okay then we add subcategory into our hierarchy so add to hierarchy category and same thing for the product name hierarchy add to hierarchy category Next, we are going to create also another center. So create calculated field, we call it center, and it is make point. So make point zero zero. Apply OK. So we drag and drop into the detail. Same thing, we are going to do that three more times to create four different layers. So add one layer, add second layer and we add a third layer so the first layer layer one is going to be the white circle right then we have the second layer so layer two for category So layer three for the subcategory, right? And the fourth layer, which is for the product name, it is going to be the outer circle. Layer four, it is outer circle, right? Same thing for the first one, we convert it into pi, and the color is going to be white same thing we remove latitude and longitude right we we'll go to the second layer we are going to drag and drop category into color same thing we convert it into pi and we select the entire view we increase its size we decrease the first one so that we have space okay we decrease this one and we drag and drop cells into the angle and like that we get for technology the total cells same thing furniture and also for office supplies 
we draw and drop category into the second the third layer right into color plus and you convert it into color same thing it has to be pi and we increase its size so like that we get the size and we drag and drop cells into the angle as you can see here we have to change technology into green so you go to category the legend and technology you convert it into green apply ok so like that we have different cells for category and for each subcategory next we are going to add the category into layer 4 into color plus and plus same thing it has to be pi and you convert it into color into color we increase its size and we drag and drop the cells into the angle all right now as you can see here we have to add the border so you go to border select white same thing for the third layer color border white and here also we are going to add border white okay we can create another calculated field so create calculated field total cells right and same thing the string is going to be total cells right apply okay so we drag and drop total cells into label and same thing the cells also into label we can change the uh, the label so put it in bold and in 16 same thing we drag and drop put it in the center and also in layer 4 so you click here on product name sort descending sort by field and here you choose cells okay so like that we get our final samples chart which represents the total cells for each product name in each subcategory for each category so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial